super fit athlete and boxer through her paces. This is the first in her series of features called Can Kelly Cut It? Don't answer. <laughs> and for the first one, I've been along to Swindon Shock training session. They're a basketball club with men's and women's running basketball and a wheelchair squad as well. So I, I joined the wheelchair basketball team um, and this is how I got on. <laughs> seeing individuals develop and it's not just seeing develop as basketball players but watching them mature into you know responsible <laughs> human beings with jobs and lives and everything so when they walk, walk or push or however they get through the door often you know they're not used to the a team environment people with disabilities haven't got the same opportunities as non-disabled so it's really nice to be able to give those guys an outlet for their passion and their talent so a true mind, body, spirit sport. Absolutely. It's nice to win, but I'm not in it for the winning. I'm in it for the, the team spirit and the development of the players. I'm joined by player coach Lewis Bird and player Lane Stowe. Lane, let me start with you. How long have you been playing wheelchair basketball? I started when I was about three. Why do you love it? It's because I watch the Commonwealth School. It it makes me learn all the tips. But what's it like to be a member of Shock Basketball Team? Really, really, really good. I really am enjoying it. It's a fantastic day for me. Fantastic, Lane. And I played with you earlier. You have one amazing shot, I have to say. And Lewis, you're player coach, and now you're able-bodied, Lewis. So can you talk to me a little bit about how the, the mix of, of able-bodied and dis disabled on the court? Yeah, so in the game of wheelchair basketball, you're allowed up to 14 and a half points on court at any time. An able-bodied person would be five points. You're only allowed one able-bodied person on court at any time. You don't have to play an able-bodied person. I mean, you have to make up the points based on the individual's disability from there. Amazing. And um, on court, you, you're, it's a complete leveller, isn't it? There's every standard. And you talked about with me earlier a little bit about the differences in the chairs. Yeah. So we've got a whole host of different chairs in our club. We've got tall chairs that serve the purpose for the for the guys that have maybe got a bit more mobility in their upper body um, and can sit higher. It gives you that opportunity. It's just a bit of a, a leveller in terms of shooting over the smaller oppositions. And you've got the small guys that are so quick in their chairs that just create the opportunities for for the big guys to, to get free, really. The skill is phenomenal, isn't it? And I saw all the blocks. Now, listen, when those blocks come in, there is no messing. These guys mean business. The players have been out of their chairs tonight. Talk to me a little bit about the physicality of the game. It's probably the most physical game I've certainly ever played. I think there's like a, a stigma or preconceived idea around disability sport that it all has to be done nicely. Um, we have to wrap people up in bubble wrap, but it's the, the furthest thing from it. We come out with bumps, scrapes. You know, we've been involved in games with broken bones, concussions, but or every game. Not that I'm saying it's like that every game, but the game takes no prisoners in like these really competitive games. I've had the fantastic opportunity to join in and I'm now joined by two of the main players. I've got Wes and I've got uh, Brendan. So, Wes, when we were chatting on the court, you told me all about where you were at and the disability that you, that you have and whatnot and what a difference it made to you. Come on, tell me a little bit about that. OK, so when I joined the club, I was a full-time electric wheelchair user. I was 18 and a half stone at the worst point and, yeah, I could not... It probably even passed the ball properly. I wasn't in the best mindset, but the club gave me somewhere to put my energy, put all my feelings and push harder to try and improve myself. I've gone from unable to stand to walking uh, anywhere inside. I've got rid of my electric chair and just used a day chair. I've lost eight stone and I'm now playing for the first team for most of each game. Brendan, so your coach has just dropped you in it and said that something phenomenal has happened between the last two seasons. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really can't explain it. Um, the help that everyone gives me at this club has boosted my confidence a lot. When I first started, could hardly reach the net. Now I'm playing for the first team for Swindon. I've been playing for 
this season will be my seventh season season with Swindon and Shock. We've had our highs, we've had our lows, as every team does. We're just pushing every time. Every Friday we come in, do our best. And it seems like you guys really pull together when it when it counts. Oh yeah, um, there's always tough points in the game. Swindon Sharks name for it. We have our, our low points around the second quarter, but we pick ourselves back up, we get out there. And sometimes you literally pick yourselves back up because you guys have been spread all over the court all night. Tell me about the physical side of this sport. Yeah, um, there's a lot of contact. It's meant to be a non-contact sport. <laughs> but you know something's gone wrong if you haven't ended up on the floor in a game or in training. Are there any common injuries? What like Have you had any particular knocks along the way? I'd say in my first season, I managed to dislocate my shoulder, throwing the ball. And then last season, uh, I was away at Leicester and I managed to pick up a concussion and whiplash. Gents, you two have been an inspiration to watch and now I know your stories as well. I'm absolutely hooked. Thank you so much for letting me join in. It's been phenomenal and, and best of luck for the rest of the season. Every time we turn it over, we get a stop. I'm with Coach Antonio. Coach, how did you get involved with wheelchair basketball? Ooh, I've been involved with wheelchair basketball, I want to say, going on five years now. When I first came over to the UK in 2013, I met Ben Humphrey, and he knew that, you know, I was coming from the States. I wanted to get involved with some coaching and helping out with the Swinish Shop Basketball Club, so he asked me to come down. I took a look at it, and I just couldn't stop. I was just inspired by everyone and just the work they were putting in. It was just something I wanted to be a part of. It seems like an amazing club with great kind of team spirit and obviously there's men, there's women, there's a wheelchair basketball so everybody can get involved. The atmosphere down here is amazing. It's, it's nothing but positivity. They want everyone in the community to be involved. It's real more like a family-like oriented atmosphere rather than just a team. So. Yeah, amazing. So I had a little go tonight and it is really tricky. Somebody starting, somebody brand new like I was, what would be your top tips for them getting getting started? I would say just come down and just be a sponge. Just whatever being taught to you, just take it all in. Just enjoy yourself. Don't really think too much about it. Just just kind of come out, enjoy yourself, have some fun, make mistakes and just, just learn from it. And just, just, just love it. Thank you so much, Antonio. It's been amazing tonight. I've thoroughly enjoyed. You've put me through it. The question is, can Kelly cut it? Yes, yes, she can. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Fantastic. <laughs> Lots of voices there, Kelly, including that of the founder, Ben Humphrey. Yeah, quite an amazing story, that. So around eight years ago, um, wrapped up with his role with the with Swindon Council, he got a grant mm -hmm. to buy 10 chairs. Right. Um, we recognised that there was a gap, you know, no no inclusive um, basketball going on in the, in the city, mm -hmm. in the town. And um, from that, they've progressed from recreational, just throwing a ball up against the hoop, to becoming um, the, in the seconds, they're in the second highest league in the whole country. That's phenomenal. So, in eight yeah, years. In eight years. There's one above, and that's the Premiership. Oh. Wow. So they are flying and the vibe, the atmosphere, the skill, the physicality, the way people have changed their lives, the inspiration, the unity, it, it's just the joy to be around. You loved it, didn't oh, you? Oh, I really... Can you tell? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the I smile really, is six foot yeah, wide. Yeah, I did. I absolutely loved it. What a phenomenal sport. One of those sports that, you know, changes people's mindset when it comes to disability sport. Um, the skill, how they fit their chairs through impossible... Um, in impossible spaces, mm -hmm. the physicality. I mean, I played basketball, so there's lots of picks and blocks. They go on under the basket with the big players to free yourself up for space to, to shoot the hoops. That's great. But these wheelchair basketball players, they're blocking all the way down the court. Wow. And there at times the, 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 the match has stopped. You know, there's lots of times where the, the players are out of their seats and the whole game has to stop to get them back in because it is that that brutal. It, it was phenomenal to watch. You're still smiling. Did you get hurt? <laughs> Do you know, Antonio was very kind to me. I, <laughs> I got the remedial basketball lesson. <laughs> I was quite disappointed in a way. But no, I mean, it was great. I, I got to learn the basics, how to do a layup, you know, the basic rules, how to try and manoeuvre the chair. And um, oh, yeah, no, it, it was tops. Fantastic. And in a little while, we're going to get to enjoy your interview uh, with a Team GB wheelchair basketball player, Ben Fox. So. Uh, 
Well, yes, absolutely. Swindon, Swindon's full of talent. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to look forward to that. Uh, the weather right now go at wheelchair <laughs> basketball. And after her session with Swindon Shock, they decided she could cut it with them any time she fancied. Uh, high praise indeed. Mm -hmm. But while I was there, I had the chance to chat with one of Team GB's wheelchair basketball stars, Mr Ben Fox. And I began by asking him what it was like to be a member of Team GB. So we're based up in Sheffield in the EIS. It's a brilliant facility, like world-class athletes training there every day, world-class coaching. Based there full-time at the moment, training every day in the gym. Uh, then we get the physio, then we're on court, video sessions, everything's there for us, so it's perfect. Fantastic. So outside of being on the court, what, what's your strength and conditioning regime? Oh, it's quite tough, yeah. So we have two days that are in the gym where we lift quite heavy weights. And then that can vary whether it's tournament time, we'll lift a little bit lighter and we'll go a bit easier. And then when it's like pre-season, we'll, we'll go really heavy and we'll go for it. And then we're doing conditioning pretty much every day. We're like training ourselves to get fitter, better, stronger. So you out of season now, that's why you're down here? Or are you just flying down for a visit to shop? Yeah, a bit of both for me actually, out of season. And also I've uh, had recent surgery, so I'm just off injured for a bit, looking to come back in the new year. But yeah, I'll be moving back up to Sheffield to start my... Uh, prehab and getting back into the sport and starting off slowly so having come back or on your way back from from a serious injury what's the the focus of this season and, and as a squad what have you got coming up my injury inhibited me from the past just due to my disability and the amazing team at Southampton doctors and surgeons have sorted me out so hopefully the aim is just to get back fitter stronger much better like get better times in the fitness testing lift lift heavier like just become a better basketball player. And What's Team GB's uh, main tournaments coming up this season? Well, literally three weeks ago, the lads went out there and won gold. So they did an excellent job, like smashed it out of the park, beat um, reigning Paralympic gold medalists USA, who were four years unbeaten. So the lads did an incredible job. It was so good to watch them. The Europeans next year, that's, that's about August time. That's a big one because that's qualification for Tokyo. So got to finish top four for that. Brilliant. Okay, I saw all the buzz on the social media from that amazing win against the States. And so that should be leading everybody into a massive high leading into the Euros? Yeah, it, honestly, it's like you talk about it now and it gives me like a funny feeling like watching some of my best mates, players that I play week in, week out with, like see them daily. Like one of my best mates, Greg Warpton, got player of the tournament, like best player in the world at the moment. It's just, it's amazing to see and they deserved it so much. And the hype between all the junior players that I'm in contact with some of them they just all want to get up to Sheffield and train their hardest and it's just brilliant to see Hearts on fire and as kind as it is and I'm sure you feel that emotion but it must have been so hard watching when you've you've been injured when, when the team are in such a, an, an amazing event like that but does that fuel you further to get back on that court? Yeah most definitely like I couldn't have uh, got through this time of my life without my family, obviously, first, but my teammates and British Wheelchair Basketball as an organisation, they've been absolutely outstanding, like, fully supportive, like, sending me messages week in, week out, sending me videos of the team saying, like, how are you doing to me? It's just been awesome. I managed to Skype call them while they were out there, so I got to say hello to everyone. So, yeah, it was just really good of them, and it's meant a lot. A real family. And looking a little bit at your local family, Swindon Shock, I heard you coaching and getting involved with these guys, so you, you give a lot back to the club here. Yeah, I just try and come down and help out as much as I can. I'm really good friends with Lewis Bird, who runs the club, or helps run the club. So I just try and get down there as much as I can. Like If I can do a bit of coaching, give a bit of advice, sometimes, but obviously when I'm not injured, I get involved, get in my chair, have a bit of a go. So it's good fun. Like I enjoy it, especially in the pre-season. It's a good way to like dust off the cobwebs and get back into it. And the club's been absolutely amazing. And they started maybe eight years ago now. And it was a big part in my kind of come back to wheelchair basketball I took some time out and I came back played for Swindon and that helped me get into like the junior setup and now into the senior setup so absolutely fantastic Ben it's been a pleasure to meet you and all the best getting back from this injury get yourself back up to Sheffield and start smashing those European champs cheers thank you fantastic that was Ben Fox there talking to Kelly about being a member of the Team GB